I have in my hand here a four-way variable gain mass and amplifier that's available on the tvtrade.ie website. It comes in this outer box here, and if I just pull it apart here, you can see there's an outer weatherproof casing here. And if I just slide this right off, we'll see the mass and amplifier is actually mounted inside here. So basically what we have here is, it's, it has two purposes. The first thing is to give us um, an amplification of the TV aerial signal from anywhere between 1 all the way up to 16 dB, depending on what the setting is at. And we can adjust this simply using a, a, um, a phase tester type screwdriver or a Phillips head screwdriver here to adjust the gain. Uh, turning it clockwise will increase the level of gain. And the other thing is we can actually run um, this to up to four different rooms or four different televisions, okay? Now I'll just give you an overview of exactly when and how we would use this or install this. Just say we have a UHF aerial similar to this mounted on the roof or on our chimney and we're finding that the signal strength is insufficient to give um, a, car, a consistent picture on our Serview TV or Serview set-top box. Well, we might make a decision at that stage that we need to amplify the signal. So what we'll do then is we will come along and we will mount this mass and amplifier actually underneath the area. Normally we'll do so about a metre or so underneath the area. So we'll run the cable from here, it would normally just run directly to the Serview TV. We'll run it to the mass and amplifier. And if we just look here, right? It'll go to the in part here. So this is the aerial in. And then we feed the cables from there to the various televisions, up to four TVs. Now the important port to notice here is this 12 volt one here. Because this amplifies it and it passes a DC signal up here, okay? And if we actually put our hand on this area when it's been amplified, we can actually feel the static electricity. And that's why it's so effective. It pulls in extra signal. Where we'll say something like a distribution amplifier that we'd use in an attic would only amplify the signal that's there and boost it. This actually pulls in more signal and that's why it can be very effective. Now, if we run this down to the power unit, which would mount either at the back of our TV, we'll say, or in the attic, we just feed the signal in here and then we feed it from there directly onto uh, the TV or the set-top box, okay? Now, traditionally, we'll say, the main way of doing this would have been with, we'll say, um, uh, fixed gain mass and amplifiers such as here. So we have one here which is, I would say, a medium gain here, uh, and it has a gain of exactly 16 dB, or the high gain here is exactly 27 dB. But the problem that runs into is, we might know whether we're in a medium, uh, a poor, or a good reception area. So it might mean that we want to um, boost it, but by boosting it too much, we can actually turn a bad, say, a good signal into a bad signal. And because of that, I would say, if you're uncertain of what you need, a variable gain amplifier can be quite a good idea. The fact that this splits the four rooms, once again, is very advantageous because it saves on the need to use a splitter, etc., in conjunction with this. Now, simpler versions of this, apart from fixed gains, would be to come along and use something like this, which would be a single variable gain one. It has um, a, a different range from 7 all the way up to 22 dB, uh, where this one, of course, the four-way that we're mainly demonstrating here, is from 1 to 16 dB, okay? So it's part of a range of power units and mass amplifiers uh, from um, Perception, which is a, a, a UK-based company uh, that we, we sell on TV Trade, uh, the website. And all of their product products are very good. So this is one that's very much used by professionals, but also suitable for the DIY market. So that's it again, an overview of the four-way massive amplifier, uh, variable massive amplifier, available on tvtrade.ie.